Sony Alpha A6500. It was only in February that Sony announced the A6300 as its APS-C E-mount flagship, but now it's being upstaged by the new A6500. Designed to blur the boundary between Sony's APS-C lineup and its Alpha 7 full-frame range, the A6500 is a modest evolution of the A6300, though it does pack some tempting new features. The most notable new addition is in-body 5-axis image stabilization. This enables the same level of stabilization as the A7 II, meaning you can now get a stabilized image with E-mount lenses that don't feature Sony's optical steady shot stabilization. The A6500's in-camera system corrects for pitch, yaw, horizontal, vertical and roll movement, and Sony claims it delivers a 5-stop shutter speed advantage. Given the physical space this stabilization system requires inside the camera body, it's no mean feat that Sony has managed to cram this tech into a body that's the same 38.5mm depth as the A6300. The second notable new addition for the A6500 is something sorely missed on the A6300, a touchscreen. As well as the usual image review advantages of being able to swipe through shots and double tap to zoom in, you can now tap to focus when in the view for faster focus point adjustment. The system can also be utilized when composing shots using the excellent 2,359K.EVF, donated by the A6300, just drag a thumb across the monitor to move the focus point, and you get the same touch focus advantages when shooting video. Further enhancements designed to make the A6500 a genuine alternative to the Alpha 7 include a new high durability shutter with a rated lifespan of 200,000 actuations, a new magnesium alloy body that sports a larger shutter release button, and a whopping 10 customizable controls, including three dedicated custom buttons. Sony has even tweaked the feel of the control dials used on the A6500 and added a larger grip, plus a softer eyepiece. We couldn't make a direct comparison with the A6300 here, but first impressions suggest the ergonomic enhancements of the A6500 are fairly subtle. The A6300 wasn't exactly short on customizable controls, but the A6500's deeper grip does make it noticeably more comfortable in the hand for users with larger paws. The A6500's menu design has also been streamlined, but it's mostly unchanged from the A6300's interface. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,